Okay, we're going to make a quick little video here to show you how to configure Butt to connect to your Shoutcast or Icecast server. Butt is a program. It stands for Broadcast Using This Tool. Butt. So, anyway, I'll put a link in the description below on where you can go and download Butt. Basically, it's butt.sourceforge.net. But I'll put the link in, in the description below, so it's a little easier for you. Anyway, once you have downloaded and installed Butt, and you open Butt, you'll get this little window here that shows you what version you're using and the basic interface of the Butt program. This is version Butt 0.1.14, which I do believe is the most current. Yeah, I could be wrong. It doesn't matter. It works great. So anyway, in the Butt main interface window you got a LEDs here that show when uh, you have audio coming through and I'll show you how to set up your audio too uh, anyway so you have three basic buttons to start with right here which are the arrow which means connect to the server stop button disconnect from the server and record which means record whatever I'm broadcasting then on this side over here you'll see that you have a settings button and a more button. I usually leave the more window open so that I can see uh, what's going on with my broadcast tool here. So there is that on that. Uh, it's very simple. There's not, not a whole lot to it. If you click the settings button, it opens the settings window. Let me slide this over. So you can see that. And on this settings window, you have five tabs. Uh, we'll start off with the main tab here. And will show you how to set up a brand new server. Uh, you can see I have several servers already set up, but we're going to set one up as a test, uh, just because we can, and we will. So, uh, click the Add button, and type a name of whatever it is uh, you want to do. I'll call this Test Server, uh, and you give, give it an address that you want to use, which, uh, for my particular case here, is this one to one I don't need to tell you <laughs> you, you could probably see that on your screen but it doesn't matter because if you don't have access and then you give it a port number which will be given to you by whoever is the administrator of your shoutcast server and then you go down to the password window here and you can press tab it takes you right down there and type in your password and let's click the show password button so you can see what I'm typing in here. I'm not typing in a real password. Password colon, oops, excuse me, username colon password, which your, again, your Shoutcast administrator, as you see, this is set to Shoutcast, will give you your username and password. If you're connecting to an IceCast server, such as Spreaker, then you would click the IceCast tab there and it would tell you it, you'll be given a stream mount point and the username of your uh, account there uh, on, on, the, on your IceCast server but since we're going to be connecting primarily at least in this case uh, to our Shoutcast server we will go ahead and connect this up uh, to a Shoutcast setting then you click add and you'll see test server is now added here and for stream info, let's go ahead and add some, some fake stream info. Uh, test stream. Oops. Yeah, something like that really matters. Anyway, and then give it a description, whatever you want to put in there, about your broadcast that you're going to do, and uh, the genre of whatever that may be. Um, it could be, if you're going to play music, to put it in a type of music, uh, whatever, variety show, there you go with that. And then for a URL, since we're connecting to a worldtruth.org Shoutcast server, we'll type in the World Truth URL. That way people would go to the World Truth server if they were looking at the information about uh, this particular thing. Uh, ICQ, I aim and 
uh, don't worry about those. If you have an IRC server, you can put that information in there. And then click Make Server Public. That way, it'll be put out on the Shoutcast website for people to see, and it'll be available for them. So you click OK, or Add, and then there's that there. Uh, you can log all the information that comes through here to a log file if you want. You would just type in a file name and click this little button here, this folder icon, and pick a folder that you want your log file stored into. And I, I click Save often because I, I always want to make sure I got everything saved. And, uh, you know, things happen. You, you think you'd crash. Anyway, click on the Audio tab next and select the audio device you want to use to record with. Um, if you're going to be playing anything, any, if you're going to be doing anything other than just talking, like play an intro song or uh, be using Skype to take calls or, or Jitsi or whatever, or, or just uh, if you have a electronic phone set up, uh, VO, VOIP set up, then you want to have something that you can capture every sound coming through your audio device. I use what you hear on a Sound Blaster external sound card. Uh, if I was using my internal sound card, I would use the stereo mix setting here. If I was just talking, I was not going to have any intro music or anything like that. I would just use the microphone plugged into the computer, or you can do it through other devices that you may have available to you. Uh, then you determine whether you're not, you want stereo or mono. And then you pick a sample rate that you're going to uh, broadcast at 44 100 is pretty much the standard if you're just going to be talking uh, you could you can go with 22 5 uh, 22 0 50 uh, and that, that'll work fine and then a codec now very important for shoutcast you have to broadcast using mp3 and then you set a bit rate uh, actually on our our uh, worldtruth.org shoutcast server we only broadcast at 64 uh, K bits, but uh, I leave it set at 128. A little, a little extra bandwidth going out doesn't matter much to me, but you could set it at 64 uh, if you want, or different options there. You can go 32. Uh, whatever, whatever lower number you go, it's going to be less bandwidth you're using during your broadcast. Whatever a higher number, of course, that's more. If you're going to use this program, but to record with, which you can do uh, quite easily enough. Uh, then you pick a recording codec again. Uh, you have the various options that are available to you. Um, FLAC and WAVE are pretty huge, or AUG. You can record an AUG, but MP3 is pretty much a standard, so use that. And then the bit rate you want to record at. I always set the bit rate at a lower, quite a bit lower, um, bit rate that I'm going to broadcast at because it's a podcast and people can listen at a lower bit rate and it's fine it still sounds fine um nothing to really worry about there uh don't worry about the advanced tab there's nothing in there for you that you need to worry about now on the stream tab this is the metadata information that is going to be sent out to your shoutcast server to let people know what is coming through there that they are listening to now, I use uh, FUBAR when I do a, a music broadcast that I do. And with FUBAR, there's a plug-in, FUBAR 2000, by the way, uh, which is a free program. You can download it. It's a music manager like any other uh, of the music players that you can set up playlists and all that kind of great stuff. Um, and with that, I also downloaded a plug-in called Now Playing. And the Now Playing plug-in uh, sends out information after every song uh, to this file that I created, foonow.txt, which the, the, the plugin will do for you. Um, and then once, whenever that changes, whenever the text of that file changes, uh, new information, new metadata will be sent over to your server to let people know what song is currently playing. So that's great for that. And if you're going to use that, then you would click the activate button and let them know that's what's going on uh, or what, what song is coming through. If you're going to just do be doing a uh, straight broadcast, uh, then type in a name here. Uh, I put in test broadcast from but so that people can see what that is, and you click OK. And then you have the option, and that, and that will come through as the metadata as long as this is not activated. Uh, and then you could click the start streaming at startup. I never use that because I want control. 
of when I'm going to start streaming. I don't want uh, the program to decide for me. And I open up all my programs uh, that I'm going to need for my broadcast well prior to actually broadcasting. So if you, if you want to do that, uh, that, that works, that, that's just fine. But just to let you know, it'll start broadcasting immediately as soon as you open butt. On the record tab, you can select a record file name of whatever you want it to be. If you use the default that they have set here, it'll be record underscore month underscore date underscore year. And I think this is like a iteration number, the, the percent I there. So it'll, if you're going to record several things on a single day, it'll be 001, 002, whatever like that, uh, dot mp3, assuming you're using the mp3. Uh, codec. <laughs> and again, you can select a, uh, a recording directory using uh, the folder tab on the side here, or just let it go to the, to the default path, which it would go under, but uh, there, uh, that, that matters, goes. You can split the file on your recording. Say you want to uh, keep it, uh, separate little files for your podcast, you can set them to whatever number of minutes you want, or to an hour. Um, and you can also say start recording directly when connected, which again, I don't use. I like to control uh, because even when I connect, I'm not ready to start recording yet. Uh, besides the fact that I don't use but to record with, I use Audacity, which is another program, which I'll show you. Anyway, uh, if you want to wait and then you can click the red button here to start recording whenever you're ready to record. And then on the GUI tab, there's nothing too important on there. You can change the colors of your interface. Uh, you can tell, the, and this is the only one that I use, which is attach this window to the butt window, which means keeps the settings right next to the butt, the main butt interface window there. Uh, stay always on top. You may be something you want to use. If you always want to keep an, a, a, an watch, a watch, an eye, <laughs> an eye watch, uh, on your uh, broadcast tool. Generally, after I get everything up and running, I minimize butt because I don't need to see it while I'm broadcasting. It's it's up to you, however you want to do it. Anyway, then just click Save Settings. Again, not that you have to. You didn't change anything, but whatever. I always click Save Settings. I like my settings saved. Then you can minimize or, or close, your, close your settings window, and then you can click the uh, broadcast there. Um, for me, I want to broadcast using this particular one here, but we'll go ahead and, and leave the test stream info up there on that. Uh, that works just fine. So if I click the, re the broadcast button at this point, boom, you can see now it tells you, okay, we're streaming. We've got the little green arrow that shows you're streaming. we got the amount of time that we're streaming uh, right here. And it shows right down here below that it updated the song name to uh, of course it's not a song name, but uh, it updated the beta data uh, to your Shoutcast server to test broadcast from butt. It tells you that you're using Shoutcast at MP3, the bit rate, the sample rate that you're using, that the connection is established. If you ever get disconnected while broadcasting, that information will show here as well. Um, let me slide this over here to the WHM Sonic window, and I'll show you. There it is. Test broadcast from butt. Do we see that there? Yes, we do. Okay, good. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll probably never see the WHM Sonic window unless you're an administrator uh, of your WHM Sonic uh, stream, Shoutcast server. So that's something you don't really need to worry too much about. But there's that on that. Now, if, for whatever reason, uh, you, you were deciding, okay, well now I want to start recording, then you click this record button and it'll start recording to wherever it is that you're going to go. Again, I don't use but to broadcast. I mean to stream, uh, record streams. <laughs> I can almost talk. Anyway, I use a program called Audacity, and I'll show you why right here, right now. Let me line this up into the window here as best as I possibly can. Okay, there's that. This is Audacity. It's a free program. You can download it. It does all kind. Of, you can do all kinds of audio tricky stuff there with that. And on this, you'll see the speaker setting that is for your playback. After you've recorded something, you can listen to it, and play it back. 
but uh, the, the important thing that we're focused on here is the input device which is should be the same thing same setting you have on your butt broadcaster okay so it's what you hear which is what I have set over there on this here this is what how loud am I gonna be recording if you click stop I mean pause and then, and then hit the record button you'll, you'll get your audio levels you could do that without doing that going through all that but uh, if I increase this you'll see the audio levels get a little higher without me saying mute, it mutes everything that you got to say uh, and depending on your settings you'll play with that and you get the proper output from that uh, if you decide to use audacity and again I'll put a link to that uh, in the description below so there's that on that so that that's all there is relate to that once you've recorded whatever it is you're going to use for a, a, a saveable po podcast then you click on the file and you click export and it lets you set all, all of your uh, tags for your mp3 it lets you tell you where you want to uh, what kind of export you want to do in case you maybe you don't want to export as mp3 uh, it gives you all kinds of let me see if I can bring this up here okay so yeah um, save as type and then they, they, it gives you all these various options that you want to record as and uh, we'll, we'll just call it test one whatever um, and then and then there's some other options that are available there that you could set uh, the various bit rate uh, that, that you want to use and, and the type that you're going to do there uh, if you're familiar with uh, mp3s and, and the way they work uh, then you'll understand that uh, then you click the save button and it brings up edit the metadata for your your podcast and then you could type these in and these will go in as tags in the actual mp3 file so you don't need to go in and tag it later uh, using some kind of a tagging tool which there's plenty of those out there available that are great anyway that's that for that um, anything else I need to tell you no I don't want to save that um, I guess that's good enough for now that, that'll get you out there broadcasting and recording uh, your podcast on whatever Shoutcast and or Icecast server that you may use. Have a great day. Peace.